Oh, no legs at all. Good deal. Well, well <laughs> I can't. <laughs> Lieutenant Dan. <laughs> Lieutenant Dan. <laughs> I got no legs, Lieutenant Dan. That's got to be in there, too. Some of this funny shit needs to be in there. You know? So, well, Gary. Hey, we just released uh, Junior's Field, which is uh, a song that we've played for, well, I, True North's been, we've yep. been together for what, 22 years now? Yep, I guess, 22 years, this? and we've been playing it the whole time. And so, and I know it existed before mm -hmm. that, so yep. I, I guess the question would be how, um, approximately what year did you write that song? Oh, that's a great Any question. Idea? Dylan was probably, he's 33, and he was probably, give or take, eight years so it's been it's been around that many years 24 yeah. 22 20 yeah 22 years 24 24 years or longer yeah he was little he was actually the reason i wrote it we were going to a ball game here at junior's field he was and it got rained out that's called Just, rush's field it's, rush it's field. called rush field that's okay. right but junior rush, junior rush who this field was named for the ball game got rained out, and so we went home. I sat down with the guitar at the kitchen table, as I often did, and Jan and Dylan were in watching TV in the other room, and I sat down and I started thinking about the baseball field because I always thought it was neat that they, pretty cool that they named the baseball field after a guy that wasn't a sports star. Right. He was just a fan of anybody that did sports in the region, especially Valley Falls, he was crazy about. Yeah. Junior called in the scores on all the games to the television stations, turned them into the newspapers in Topeka. He, he was really the spokesperson for sports here in Valley Falls. And so when they built the field, they named it after Junior, So, which I thought was really cool because he couldn't play ball. He had physical limitations right. himself. And so uh, I was sitting at the kitchen table that night and thought, well, I need to write something about the baseball field. And I really, that's all I thought. I had my writing pad there, my guitar. And this was one of those songs, and you know writing songs, that this was one that all five, it's a long song, actually, everything came out all, all at one time. Verses, yeah. Five verses came out. Of, and I really, I wish as a... Writer, I wish I could tell you I went back and edited things, but I really didn't. It was that was the way. And then I played the song fairly soon, and I played the song before True North in the new grass band Coyote Love right. played it, and with Leo and Jason and Steve. And uh, it always was a well, crowd favorite regionally, of course, for the story. Yeah. And then I added the sixth verse. Junior passed away, and they asked me to sing at his funeral. Same kind of thing. I was sitting at home thinking about the upcoming funeral and that verse about I finally made it home just, again, just fell out exactly the way we sing it, exactly the way we do it. I added that. When we do it live, a lot of times I would yell at you guys, as you know, here's the lost verse, you know. Yeah. Well, sometimes we do it anymore since we actually finally recorded the song. Uh, we we usually added that verse, but yeah. that's but it's it's sports. You know, the, the, I think the thing about Junior's Field, I've seen playing it all around the region in the cities and stuff. A lot of people grew up in small towns, yeah. and a lot of people, even if they're living in the cities now, they grew up in small towns with baseball fields. Yeah. And so I think it hits home with a lot of people for that reason. Yeah, it's about our baseball field in Valley Falls, America, but it's about small town and baseball, little league baseball for the whole country. You know? sure. But baseball, it's still, I think it's still, as James Earl Jones said in Field of Dreams, it marks the passage of time. You know, it, it yeah. really does that in a way that I'm not sure other sports are able to do. Yeah, when, uh, when, when you sat down with the guitar at mm -hmm. the kitchen table and started writing it, did it immediately lend itself as a bluegrass oh, kind yeah. of tune? Yeah, th th this was never going to be a jazz piece. It was going to be <laughs> this right. was going to be four or five chords, and definitely in a country or bluegrass vein. There was no question. Right. I mean, absolutely. Because I know sometimes, um, you know, from my my songwriting um, background, a lot of times I will come up more and start with a lyric or with a. Uh, Start with a riff bass, right. you know, or a progressive yeah. choral progressive Right, chord bass. progression or a and melody. For me, the lyrical part of things is sometimes probably the most challenging part for me because I, oh, I sometimes just wonder what 
what what needs to be said is right. it worth saying, et cetera, et cetera. The, right. the musical part sometimes is or typically is very a lot easier to, for me. Is it to start you know, building a tune around? But for you, is that I know just because we've worked together good, so long. Yeah, we played together so long. But is it? Do you typically write from a, a more of a lyrical base starting point or? Or more of a riff chordal bass, yeah. kind of both. There's, or? there's, there. Uh, that's a good question. There tends to be both. Sometimes I'll have certain songs like Memphis mm -hmm. is definitely a guitar riff bass. Yeah. I had the guitar riff that it was, it's, it was a thing I'd do to warm up, you know. Sure. And uh, so tunes like that, I think the music riff kind of lends itself to the lyrical content. I would say for me, 75% of the time, though, it's that I come up with a title or mm -hmm. something like Junior's Field that I want to write about this yeah. particular thing. And Junior's Field rolled off the tongue better than Rush Field, you know. Right. And I didn't know right. him as, he was Junior <laughs> Rush, but he was my friend, so I just knew him as Junior, as we all did here, sure. you know. So, so I, I would say that's a good question, but it, a lot of, for me personally, certainly lyrical content has always been probably the driving thing most of the time. And then music kind of secondary. I, I tend to have a, as you know, I have a fast version, a mid-tempo version, and a slow version, and variations thereof, so right. that's it. Right, yeah. yeah, that's cool. Yeah, so, I mean, uh, finally 22 years, 22 years into True North, and we finally recorded the, did yep. the band version of Junior's Field, and I uh, think it turned out really well. I, I do. I, I it's it was hard. I, I'm sure for you it was hard mixing it because it's oh, a lot yeah. of yeah, it's a lot of instruments, a lot of instruments. Well, it, I mean, it's cool because we played the song for 22 years as True North, but uh, had never done a uh, a recording of it, right? Um, a, a studio recording anyway. And so we finally made that happen, and and I think it came together really well. We did there were a lot of instruments. We we tracked a bunch, and then we you know brought in hired like or Orville Johnson to uh, perform a dobro part on it, which yeah. uh, he's an amazing player. And or Orville's fantastic. He's we're so fortunate to be able to work with people like Orville. He's played with everybody in Nashville all over the country. You know, when The Tonight Show has a has a multi-instrumentalist call, Orville does it, because he can play anything. Right. He's really known as a dobro player, but he's actually been the guitar player in Jerry Douglas's band. Jerry Douglas, is, is for bluegrass, as they all know, is like the right. dobro player. But Orville's played guitar for Jerry, so he's a fine guitar player too, but... It's fun to. It, we're really blessed to be able to work with people like that. Oh, it's yeah. it's fun. We've we've been able to have really nice people that are really talented like that come in and add things, and it's just fun to work with with different people. It's it's exciting. The last several years, at keeping you know the core group of of True North has been the same for mm -hmm. over twenty years, but it's fun to bring in other people and yeah. just just to get a different perspective. Well, know? sure, a little so, different flavor, right? And, uh, and exactly, and super talented people. Right, like that, that makes it that we're real fortunate. That it's, makes it easy. I'm with fun. you. Yeah. So anyway, yeah, Junior's Field. It's, it's out, out there out. now. It's it's on, it's on Spotify. Spotify, Apple Music, yeah. all streaming platforms, and uh, so yeah. And we don't have out. we don't have signed baseballs yet, but we'll have to do that. Okay. Next, so. <laughs> That's right. Good we way. hope you enjoy it. So thanks to all our friends that support this craziness. Thank you. Junior.